The Tropical Rainfall Measuring Mission, or TRIM, was launched in November of 1997 to precisely measure falling rain throughout the tropics. Eighteen years and thousands of storms later, TRIM has contributed to the advancement of scientific milestones. TRIM has advanced research in the areas of agriculture, disease tracking, precipitation physics, and natural hazards. We get roughly three hourly rainfall estimates across much of the globe at fairly high resolution. And, and these rainfall estimates are used to monitor major rainfall events and to look for events that might lead to significant flooding, even landslides. And there are a number of groups that have been using it uh, as sort of an early warning system. TRIM's unforeseen longevity has provided more robust information on weather and climate patterns that can only be seen after years of observations. This nearly two decades of data lets scientists see variations in rainfall from year to year, how El Nino affects rain patterns worldwide, and the anatomy and life cycle of major storms like hurricanes. It's also proven to be an extremely useful satellite for understanding hurricanes, uh, partly because its orbit stays within the tropics so you get much more frequent observations. And it's just provided uh, a wealth of rainfall information over its relatively short time period that in many ways surpasses all of the information we had prior to that. From giant storms to individual droplets, TRIM also provides scientists with data on the precise physics of falling raindrops. TRIM has a unique set of instruments, including the first and only precipitation radar in space. It also has a microwave imager, which is uh, an instrument that can give you the equivalent of like an x-ray of a storm, whereas the radar is giving you more of a CAT scan of the storm. It provides extremely valuable information on the structure, rainfall structure of storms, which tells us something about uh, how the, the storm is responding to its environment, whether or not it might intensify or weaken in, in the upcoming hours. As TRIM's mission ends, the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission builds on TRIM's objectives. Launched in early 2014, GPM's two instruments are more advanced and more sensitive versions of TRIM's microwave imager and precipitation radar. GPM's orbit extends coverage beyond the tropics and provides measurements of light to heavy rain and snow, expanding TRIM's legacy into the future. Mm -hmm.